Hi, welcome my engineering management students. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make a gun chart using Excel and given an APT table. You may already know how to make a gun chart using pen and paper, but learning how to create a gun chart using Excel given a activities precedence table is a skill or competency which is good for professional civil engineering practice. For example, what if you change the dates or you change the duration? It's only one click of a button in Excel. So let's go. An APT table or activities precedence table usually has the task number, activities title, predecessor of which come first and which come second, and duration in terms of days. So the first thing we do is is to add a start date and an end date column. Okay, and for example, we will start, for example, we're going to start on October and October 5. Yes, October 5. Okay, so we write 5 October 2020 and it ends after five days okay so that we use the formula of this date plus five days okay so activities B starts after A and then so we use the formula start the end date and the end date for activities B equals uh, this date plus Okay, plus eight days. Okay, I hope you won't mind. So I'll copy using fill and drag it to the bottom. That's the formula. So don't mind first the dates because the date it doesn't have any input of the start date. So okay, so let's continue. So activity C starts after after B. Activities D starts after C. Activities E starts after C. Okay, this is C. That one. Activities F starts after C. And this is C. Yeah, this is C. And then activities G starts after E, which is this one installation of windows and doors and okay this starts of whatever activity ends the latest okay so we will learn a conditional statement if then else okay so we say if for example C okay which is C the drywall ends later than G the November 2, then we use October 25 or else it starts after November 2. Okay, let's close that one. So the computer <laughs> shows November 2, which is uh, it ends later than C, October 25. And that's uh, okay. Now we will construct the gun chart. Okay. For the gun chart, we're going to highlight the start date. We click insert. We don't use the bar chart, but we use the stack bar chart horizontal. Okay, we click that one. We have to make it smaller. There. So we will add the duration. Okay. So we will select data. Add a series name called duration, enter, and the data, which is the duration, enter, there. Okay, so, okay, while we're here, let's just as well fix, instead of one, two, three, four, five, let's get the labels, which is this one, the activities label. Okay, there. Of course, the first activity is the slab, so it's in reverse order. 
So it's very easy. Let's double click that one. And the num uh, and then let's okay the axis position category is in reverse. Okay, now it's in proper order. The first activity is foundation ending with the painting. Okay, then the next one is we are not going to fill this one, so no fill. Okay, then we are going to clean it clean it up by making the gun chart starts at the starting date. Okay. Wait, let's let's make it smaller so we will copy the starting date here copy the value and the ending date which is November 7 we copy and we paste we paste the value okay now we understand that Excel uses day number one as January 1 1900 if we change that into number so that's the day number one okay so now we can now fix the dates there so for the minimum we change it to 44109 there so the project starts on October 5 and it ends on day 44142 let's change the date into a, a shorter format which is which is this okay let's see there so we have october 5 2020 ending at november 7 2020 now that we have done that I want you in the exercise, okay, to recreate this table. You write your name here, there, and then I'll copy this for you, and then, then you can upload it in your cell phone. I'll just change the, the dates, you have to do it yourself, and let's start on the first working day of November. And the first day November 2 okay so let's say November 2 to November 2020 okay so you have to recreate this table using the formula and make your own gun chart okay just a note so in if you're using laptop or PC uh, you can of course change the color it's only black and white in in cell phone yeah. And that's it. So no fill. Okay, so that one. You do, you do your own gun chart under your own table. Okay, so now that you've learned how to make a gun chart of activities of a project table or AP given an APT, so you start by adding a start date and an end column and use the formulas. And then if there is a choice between which project task ends earlier so you use that formula uh, if this is greater than this date then use that or else use this please remember to upload your exercise so i can grade them thank you very much for following learn with red see you in the next video